Hey guys, it's the Gaming Geek 15 here, and welcome to another video. And today we are talking about the new content collection drop for MW3, named Collection Drop 2. And uh, Infinity Ward have released information regarding the next uh, DLC drop, and I've basically taken out all the important information. I'm going to go through it with you right now. Now, the main uh, points is that there's going to be multiplayer maps, spec ops maps, and a new game mode, well, game type ish, called Face Off. Now let's start with the multiplayer maps. There's going to be three, which include Sanctuary, Foundation, and Oasis. Sanctuary is a, a monastery from Greece. Foundation is a South Korean cement factory. And Oasis is a coastline of the United Emirates. That's basically all we know about the multiplayer. Very, very scarce. But as you can see, that's really all they need to say, because multiplayer is multiplayer. But I'd like to see more maps. Okay, moving on. Spec Ops missions. The two Spec Ops missions, one's called Ironclad and one's called Kill Switch. Ironclad takes you back to the campaign and Delta Force is sent in uh, with the SAS to escort out the last tank division from the extraction point. Uh, it's a brand new mechanic which allows you to use tanks. And uh, one person will be on the ground who is an infantryman and will basically have C4, blow up uh, any uh, debris in the way, and the second player drives the tank and gets to shoot a lot of guys with the turrets and stuff like that. Basically, the aim of the mission is to get the tank uh, to the uh, extraction point, which is at the coastline, and make it out with your life. Now, Kill Switch. Kill Switch takes place in the Russian docks, and one player works on the ground to get through the docks, and ends up at this sort of EMP detonation area, while the second player is a sniper with um, a thermal scope, and he'll be overlooking the whole map and killing any enemies that will be in your way to help you out. And... That's basically all the information about the Spec Ops missions. They sound pretty cool. Um, Kill Switch doesn't sound anything special, though. Ironclad driving the tanks, it might be quite interesting. And uh, I, it, it was something that was missing from the uh, original campaign. Now, this next uh, thing, Face Off, which is a, uh, we're calling it a brand new game type for MW3 multiplayer, they've been talking quite a bit about it. And uh, basically what it is, is uh, all the maps that are included with Face Off a design so that you never really have to go very far to reach an enemy. And that's going to create a lot of close quarter combat and going to keep you in that action. It's suitable for 1v1 and 2v2, and that's what it's based for. Um, it allows two players to battle it out with no perks and just knives if you really want to, or uh, the normal team deathmatch uh, with guns and perks if you really want that as well. But uh, the only way you'll be able to play it is 1v1 or 2v2. It'll be located in the playlist section uh, on multiplayer, and uh, you basically will be able to play these four maps. And uh, the first one is Getaway. It's going to be a very posh house in the beaches of Brazil. And there's a visual Easter egg here. Basically, you'll be able to piece together what happened in the house before the game started using some of the clues dotted around the house. If you get that much time to look around the house and piece it together, then well done to you. But uh, apparently, there's something happened before the game started, and you've got to figure out what it is, if you really want to, that is. Um, also, you can hide in the swimming pool. Uh, hold your breath underneath the swimming pool. Guy runs by. You get out the swimming pool. Kill him. Yeah, it's the usual hide and cover ways of working things. So the next map is Lookout. It's a very small map on the hills of Afghanistan. And there's another Easter egg on this. You can actually get outside the map. And no, this isn't a, a glitch. It is actually an Easter egg. And uh, basically, what they're saying is, though, you don't really want to go outside the map because there is a ton of mines which will kill you probably instantly. So maybe not the best Easter egg in the world. And uh, the other two maps, Erosion is based on the coast of Italy. And there's basically a volcano going off in the background is all they've said. And the last one is a ground which is on the rocky shores of Scotland. The pack is released on the 22nd of May for Xbox Live users and on May the 15th for Xbox Elite. Thanks guys for watching the video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you with another one very, very soon.